Governor Abbott announced a new water-based border barrier he says will keep people from crossing. The governor showed a section of border buoys after signing several border security-related bills today. Fox 4's Alex Boyer live tonight with more Alex. Hey guys, do you know, and we knew that Governor Abbott, of course, was set to sign several bills related to border security at the state capitol today. But then at the end of that signing meeting is when he uh, revealed these new images of what he called a, a floating border wall that he says will further deter people from trying to cross in illegally. This is a uh, new water-based <laughs> barrier uh, of buoys. At a border security bill signing ceremony in Austin Thursday, Governor Greg Abbott unveiled a new tool being deployed to help secure the southern border, military-grade buoys. It's something we can do quickly. We can put it there, and it deters you know, large groups of people from moving in that area, and we can control it. The state has purchased 1,000 feet of the buoys at a cost of approximately $1 million. The head of DPS, Colonel Steve McCraw, says they are about four feet high, equipped with weights and netting, and designed to rotate to help keep people from scaling them. On its website, the security company Cochrane describes them as marine floating barriers. The buoys displayed at the news conference did not appear to have spiked attachments. They'll be put in the river in Eagle Pass, which McCross said is currently ground zero for illegal border crossing. Because of the water and the buoyancy of these, it's very difficult to be able to go through these. Very difficult to, to come over. It's not a new idea. President Trump asked his staff to evaluate floating barriers to supplement his border wall project back in 2020. Abbott's version is the latest tactic at the state level to try and secure the border. In preparation of Title 42 being lifted, Texas DPS and the Texas National Guard installed miles of razor wire. Texas is no longer ground zero for this crisis. Texas is a stronghold. Illegal crossings between points of entry have slowed in recent weeks, possibly because violators now face a threat of long-term expulsion. But for Abbott, border security remains a top legislative priority. At Thursday's ceremony, he signed six bills related to border security, among them SB 1900, which now classifies Mexican drug cartels as foreign terrorists, adding them to organized crime offenses under state law, which results in higher penalties. Another bill, SB 423, authorizes the Texas Military Department to use drones to secure the border. What they are, are doing now is deploying a strategy that no state has ever before deployed to stop people from entering Texas illegally. And another law now on the books, SB 1133, helps Texas ranchers living in border communities who have had their agricultural properties damaged by illegal immigrants or smugglers, providing them with up to $75,000 per incident. These farms and ranches have been ripped apart. And Colonel McGraw said that the uh, barriers will be added in Eagle Pass on July 7th. But then he uh, added, of course, that they can be moved wherever they are needed. It was also revealed today that 11 other states have now sent members of their National Guard to Texas to help secure the southern border. Back to you. Okay, Alex Boyer in downtown Dallas today. Thanks, Alex.